Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Today I'm going to be continuing my coverage of the Easter eggs in the Call of Duty Zombies comic and talking about the fact that in the comic we have found three ciphers and we have solved three ciphers. And we've also been pretty disappointed, I would say, by three ciphers. Not necessarily disappointed, perhaps that's the wrong word, but we haven't really been too enthralled by them, okay? I'm gonna recap what they all are now. Number one, premise will fail. That's one I haven't talked about on this channel so far. Number two, it's knowledge is a curse. Did a video on that, talked about the fact that the it it's referring to is the Cronorium, it's the knowledge of the Cronorium that's a curse. And three is the keepers shall rise once more. Now, none of those are massively groundbreaking statements. The Keepers shall rise once more. Well, that means the Keepers fell at one point. Cool. Okay. Is there much we can actually glean from it in terms of thinking about the future? Well, not really, because we don't really know what exactly it's applying to. Similarly, its knowledge is a curse is not really that interesting because we're sort of aware of the fact that if you read the Cronorium, I mean, Richtofen says in Revelations, it's the best book he's ever read, he picked it up, and he couldn't physically put it down. Like, this is not a normal book by any means, and so it's not really a surprise that its knowledge is a curse. So, we don't really learn a massive amount from those two, but we round things out with premise will fail. Of all damn things, they put in a cipher that just says premise will fail. It's just a boring old substitution cipher, and that's what it says. Premise will fail. So, let's just rewind the track. I'm gonna need you to rewind the track, okay? We're going back to Shadows of Evil, and... Uh, wow, it's almost been a year since Shadows came out. That's pretty mind-boggling, not gonna lie. Hasn't felt like a year. Black Ops 3's gone way too fast. Oh my goodness me, I'm missing this game already, but... In Shadows of Evil, there's a cipher, and the deciphered plain text message says, Although they have discovered the way, premise will fail. So, that's been a cipher that we've been, I guess, fixated upon all year, not to try and solve it, but to try and understand its true meaning. Why will premise fail? Who is it that is making this statement? I mean, since Revelations came out, we've had to rethink a lot of the context that we had assumed for Shadows of Evil and really, I guess, just sort of rearrange our thinking of the hierarchy of Shadow Man and Monty and the Apothecons and the Overlords and all of it has really been rejigged recently. And this is one of those ciphers that has been moved around in that reshuffling. Although they have discovered the way, premise will fail. And now, in the comic, so we're fast forwarding now, back to the present, and we get premise will fail on its own. No, although they've discovered the way, just premise will fail. Now the question is, why is this in the comic? Its knowledge is a curse. Okay, it's in the comic because the comic is going to feature fairly heavily the Cronorium. Fine, no problems with that. The Keepers shall rise once more? Eh? pretty much just like a standard if you went to just like a random writer and said hi yeah so we really need a phrase to get people thinking about something for the future but we don't know what that thing for the future is yet so you need to be as vague as possible the keepers shall rise once more i just love it so much it's the best thing i've ever heard clearly doesn't really say very much but then we get to premise will fail and i'm like come on come on we wait for this comic, for so long, and then we're teased just a few months before release that there are going to be ciphers hidden in the panels. And I certainly lose my mind. I'm like, this is just the best thing since sliced bread. This is so damn good. And then the comic comes out, and the ciphers are a little bit dull. And they're all solved on day one. And they might as well not have been there in the first place. They don't add to the artistic integrity of the images. It almost just feels like they put ciphers in there so that they could say, yeah, we've got ciphers in the comic to drum up some hype, to get some people interested or something like that, to get me interested for goodness sake. I don't know. Like, it just feels like they don't hold much of a purpose right now. Now, yes, this is going to change in time, no doubt. In future maps, or rather future comics rather, future issues of this comic, we will no doubt see more ciphers, they'll be harder to solve, and they'll be more interesting. For example, the ciphers on Shadows of Evil are 
purposefully easy to solve, and they aren't the most crazy things in the world, because we're right at the beginning of the Black Ops 3 arc. Now, we fast forward to Revelations, and we've got ciphers that are very difficult to solve, and no doubt will contain some very juicy information, and a similar format can be expected of the comic, with easy stuff that's fairly simple at the start, and complex stuff that is really interesting towards the end, because at that point, Treyarch is going to be starting to think about their gearing up plan for their next game's PR campaign, and revealing the project that they are working on. So, there are going to be some really important messages in that final comic. Issue number six, which will be coming out towards the end of next year, roughly, give or take a couple of months. So, it's exciting that we'll be getting good stuff down the road, but I am kind of left wondering whether we've kind of been sold up the river a little bit with regards to what these ciphers should actually contain. I just feel like it's a bit mundane, you know? Just a little bit. Yes, the prospect that they are reiterating the fact that Primus will fail is interesting. Yes, there are conclusions to be drawn from that. For example, we could say, perhaps, the although they've discovered the way Primus will fail message from Shadows of Evil hasn't actually come to pass yet. That prophecy has not been fulfilled or broken. It's actually just pending right now, and we could be seeing that actual failure at some point in the comic series, much later down the line, issue 5, issue 6, something like that. Maybe we then see what it truly means for Primus to fail. Maybe. Or, you could also say that Primus will fail might be relating to the future from the point of view of the comic. So, the comic takes place before Black Ops 3, and so, we could say that Primus will fail is just relating to the same, although they've discovered the way Primus will fail that the Shadows of Evil Cypher was referring to, which is actually just revelations, or is actually just them failing to continue the cycle by getting killed by Nikolai 1.0, or turning on each other and killing each other, and things like that. Like, all of those are possible scenarios where Primus fails, and we don't know what the true fail state is, we don't know what the exact explicit thing that they're referring to with this cipher is, but the fact that they've repeated it certainly is worth noting. We've had other repeated ciphers. The Only the Curse Survive cipher is a repeated cipher on Shadows of Evil, and we still don't know why, and it's nearly been a year! Oh man, I really hope we get an answer to that sometime. But I just wanted to post a video essentially recapping a little bit. Cipher number one, it's knowledge is a curse. It's the Cronorium. The knowledge of the Cronorium is a curse. It ain't great. It's pretty bad. Premise will fail. That's the new one that we've talked about. In that one, some reiteration of old facts in a new context and a new setting, which kind of gets us a little interested about what it could mean, but ultimately, it just kind of feels like old news. The third one is our little The Keepers Shall Rise Once More message, and that's the one that is the most generic little tease about potential things happening in the future that I've ever heard Treyarch give us. Like, honestly, they couldn't have been more cliched and ambiguous if they tried. Will these improve? Yes, I believe they will. Are they a little bit dull right now? Yes, I believe they are. Am I still interested as to the possibilities of what they could really mean, and will I still be bringing them into my discussions with friends, and thoughts that I have myself about the story, and about where we might be going with things in the comic and beyond? Yes, absolutely. I will be working them into the fold, kneading them into the dough of my brain, mixing it with the yeast of the zombie storyline, and hopefully, fingers crossed, creating some big old fluffy loaf for us to tuck into, once the final comic comes out in about a year. So, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, thanks for watching. Needed to post this video to get the sort of recap done as to the three ciphers that we found, we've solved, we can move on now, we can talk about other things in the comic, the meaning of certain lines, the meaning of certain places that they go to, the meaning of other things entirely that aren't related to the comic, such as stuff that is still unsolved in Revelations, in previous maps, audio files, all sorts of stuff. So thank you for watching, like I've said. One final thing, if you've got any recommendations or requests for videos you'd like me to make in the next couple of days and weeks, then let me know. I'm going to post a couple of Infinite Warfare Zombies videos very soon, so look forward to those, and I'll see you in the next vid. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye.